Short term 12, this is Grace. Remember, you're not their parent, you're not their therapist. You are here to create a safe environment, and that's it. Got it. Luis, you better be up. So this is how it's gonna be. Once I read the script, I knew it was incredible, and I knew that this was a very capable writer. And uh, I met him, Skyped with him, and had a feeling that he was would be a very capable, kind of personable director, which is always great for an actor. And then I watched the short of Short Term 12, which is only about eight minutes or something. And what he managed to do in that short amount of time in the short film um, made me feel like, well, that's it. I, and now I, I have total faith in this guy. Thank you, Mama, Pops. I don't think anyone here thinks of you as just our foster parents. I don't even know what that term means, because to me, you're just ma and pa. When I had no one else, you accepted me and you showed me what it was like. Um, what it was like to be loved. And none of us would be here if it weren't for you. So let's all lift our glasses to our king and queen. <laughs> Happy 30th, you guys. Everything good in my life is because of you. It was important to me if I was going to take on this role that I was going to be doing it honestly and do the, these incredible people justice. Um, so I spent, uh, I spent time at a facility and spent some time on the floor with a woman and, and then spent some off hours with her as well and then learned kind of the handbook stuff. I had to do the restraints and, and those sorts of things. The closest it had come really for me was, was getting the part and being able to go to a facility much like the one portrayed in the film and shadow a line staff member, somebody who does what these characters do for a living. And that was very eye-opening and insightful and, and informative ultimately to the, to the process of making the movie. Jack, I'm sorry. Please cancel the pass until we figure this out because I know her and I know that things are not good at home. And how do you know that? Because she read you a children's story? Don't fuck with me, Jack. I am on the floor every day with those kids. And last night, that girl sat next to me and she cried and she tried to tell me the only way that she knew how. Grace, you are a line staff. It's not your job to interpret tears. That's what our trained therapists are here for. Then your trained therapists don't know shit. Both of us could honestly say that before reading this script, foster care was something that I was aware of. I knew it was something that was awful and sad, but I didn't understand the inner workings of it. I didn't know what it looked like or felt like. Um, and so I'm so proud of this film for being able to honestly showcase what that is, which is that it's, it's beautifully flawed. It doesn't, it's every human being is so different and so specific in their needs that it's, it's impossible at this point for us to really understand what is a system that will get these kids through. This is the kind of movie that I feel like five or six years ago I would have been desperate to be in and um, I wouldn't have been ready for it uh, personally and it's one of those moments where it's just really been I've been really lucky and fortuitous things have happened like getting the script when I got it and being at the right place I think personally to be able to take it on here we go